I'm back again with my mini mouth blanket in a new place. Hope you guys like it. Um, it's funny because a lot of the decoration that I've done so far is actually behind me. So it looks pretty plain. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to decorate more, but for right now, I love it. Um, but I wanted to have a quick little chat with you guys. I know every time I say quick, it turns into who knows how long, but I just get so excited and I just keep on rambling on. So if this is long, forgive me guys. Um, but anyway, I have a nice little healthy snack. I have celery with vegan ranch. So uh, if a lot of you guys know me either in person or if you know me online and if you watched any of my other videos, you know that I am vegan and I'm so happy. I think I want to say when we first moved here, so about a month ago, um, we went over to the Whole Foods nearby and we discovered vegan ranch and the good thing is it was about the same price that like regular ranch would have been because you know sometimes when you try to eat healthy it's more expensive but it wasn't so yeah i now have one of my addictions and i'm one of those people who love to eat her fruit, fruit and vegetables anyway so i get cravings of celery and ranch all the time so yeah, and I think that Vega Ranch is almost out and we just bought another box. But anyway, on to the point of the video. So if you guys, I don't know how many of you guys are fans of the show Pretty Little Liars. It's not on air anymore, but it is on Netflix. And if you guys are fans, we're already friends, number one. Um. But yeah, so if you guys are fans of Pretty Little Liars, usually I don't like to like share details of a show, like especially if I'm going to put it on YouTube, I don't like to share details of a show because I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but it's been out for like mad long, so if you guys, haven't, if you guys are fans and you haven't gotten to this point, Come on, guys. And if you guys haven't watched it, I really, really suggest you do. It's a really good show. It's really suspenseful. Um, a lot of people think that it's, like, gonna be, like, you know, you hear the title, like, Pretty Little Liars, and you see all these girls, and you're just like, oh, it's just gonna be a bunch of drama. It is drama, but it's very, like, suspenseful, and, like, it's very, very well put together, let me tell you. Um, amazing writing, amazing acting, everything. Great twists and turns, action shots, all of that. Um, but one thing that I did want to talk about that really struck a nerve with me, um, because like another thing that I really liked about this show is they talked about real life scenarios. So they talked about people from all walks of life, you know, they talked like they showed you life from, you know, black, white, in the middle, quote unquote, you know, black, white, different races, um, male, female, rich, poor, middle class, um, gay, straight, all of that. In the closet, out of the closet, all of that. Um, orphans, people with both, uh, both parents in the home, no parents in the home, one parent in the home, both parents, but it might turn out to be one. It, they literally like covered as much of the, what I like to call rainbow of life as possible in that story. That was not a story just for one type of person. And that's why I had to watch the whole, the full, what was it, seven seasons? I had to watch the full seven seasons because that was good. But again, before I get on my rant, one thing, one, I can't talk today, guys. 
one thing that really stuck out to me, so there was this, I'm going to try and keep this short, because if you guys end up watching it, I don't want to ruin it, but there was this fella um, in school, his name was Caleb, and he was kind of seen as, uh, how do I explain it? He was kind of seen as like the troublemaker, and like he was like the cool bad guy and all of that. Um, but yeah, it turns out that, long story short, he jumped from foster home to foster home, and every home that he went to, none of them really cared about him. So he always had to take care of himself, because I don't know if you guys know, but a lot of times when, I don't know if it's true for when you actually adopt, adopt, like actually like make them your legally your child forever but i know for like foster stuff a lot of times foster parents get paid and you know i've seen firsthand that a lot of people will um take in foster kids and just use it for the checks so they would use it like kind of like a job taking foster kids and not care, take care of the kids and that's basically what happened to caleb um he was Going from foster home to foster home, he'd been hurt, all, all types of crazy stuff, but you could never tell that by the way that he behaved, because he always just took care of himself. But long story short, he and Hannah, one of the uh, main cast members, got really, really close and all of that, and she was actually from like more a more wealthy um, family, and you know, she was kind of like, you know, doing her own thing. She had her own struggles as well. And I loved her character and the person who plays her. But long story short, <laughs> um, what? Okay, long story short, they kind of got close, you know, they went out, whatever. And he had been looking for his mom for so, so long. And I guess he kind of gave up. And then one day, something gave you know something fell through and he actually met his mom and he started to build a relationship with her and all of that and in the process he met his uncle jamie who you know was really really like taking an interest in him and always wanted to make sure he was cool um just like really really hands-on type of guy um seemed like a really amazing person and it seemed like he was really, really interested in Caleb and making sure that he was okay and all this other type of stuff. Um, and coming to find out, Jamie, the uncle, happens to be Caleb's father. But Jamie made so many mistakes in his past that he was embarrassed. For Caleb to know that he was his father so he posed as his uncle which I kind of understood like if you watch the show you'll kind of see why um, you know that's his choice uh, but on top of that Hannah who is Caleb's girlfriend finds out about this whole thing, finds out that Jamie's not the uncle, that he's the father, and Caleb just found his mom, and he's healing, knowing that his mom didn't just give him away because she didn't love him, but that his mom was going through hard times, and she wanted to make sure that he had a better life. So it would help that Caleb also got to know his father, you know, and start that healing process as well, right? That's what I thought. Um, so I'm going to stop where she's at a dilemma. Should she tell Caleb? Should she keep it to herself because it's not her business and it's messy? And, you know, Caleb's kind of like hard and from the streets. And he doesn't like people to be all up in his business. And he can handle it and all this other type of stuff. Um, or should she go to Jamie and be like, hey, I know that you're Caleb's father. You know, are you going to tell him? Like, I really think he deserves to know. You know, all of that. So, my question for you guys today 
because it is kind of a hard question if you actually sit and think about it. Um, I personally would want to know, um, and I would be able to forgive the person for what they did, because like we know that a lot of the things that Jamie, um, like a lot of the mistakes he made, was because he grew up pretty much a lot like Caleb. From you know, from the way they painted the picture, he grew up a lot like Caleb. He he grew up a lot taking care of himself and all of that, and he just didn't make the right choices all the time. And and on top of him not making the right choices, he was immature when Caleb was born and now you know he seems like he's grown and he seems like he has you know matured and he's a better person so again I personally would want to know but that is hard being on the other side being in Hannah's shoes like you don't know you don't want you don't really want to rock the boat you know Especially with all of her stuff that she had going on, it was just a lot. So, if you guys were in the situation where someone really, really close to you uh, grew up without a parent, or yeah, grew up without either none of their parents, or grew up without one of their parents, anything like that, and you found out that their parent actually was around either period or just showed up and was around but was posing as somebody else what would you do would you just tell them and be like yo i found out that jamie's not really your uncle he's your father or would you just keep it to yourself oh i don't want to get in nobody's business you know that's the, that's jamie's responsibility that's the mom's responsibility um, or would you maybe talk to the mom or talk to Jamie and be like, hey, you know, you know, based on this, this, and this, I found out that you're actually his father. Like, why don't you want to tell him? Are you going to tell him? Like, I really believe that he should know. What would you guys do? So leave a comment down below. I want to start a discussion on this because when I watch... TV shows and movies, my brain does not cut off. And when I saw that episode, I really started thinking about that. Like, what would I do? So again, leave your comments down below. Do you agree with me? I I would want to know. Um, I personally would probably go to the parents and talk to them because even though I feel like the person should know, I don't want to make, like, there's already going to be some tension because they haven't grown up with them and they might feel abandoned. So I wouldn't just be like, oh, by the way, Jamie's your dad. And then they're just mad at Jamie, you know, and then Jamie can't even have a, have a moment to, you know, stay his side because now Caleb won't talk to him or Caleb's mad at him or whatever. So I would personally go to the parent and be like, hey, you know, I'm not trying to be, like, disrespectful or any of your business or, um, you know, overstep my boundaries. But, you know, I, I would probably ask them, even though I know, I would probably ask them out of respect, like, hey, are you his father? And if they're like, yeah, then I'll be like, well, you know, do you, like, don't you think that he deserves to know? Yada, yada. And I would set it up like that, like, let the... Like, the parent and I work together to basically break the news to my friend. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Because I know that there's so many different, you know, there's so many different right answers. There's no wrong answer. Um, and this is just something that I think is important because it happens in life. And yeah. So... Let me know, and let me, also let me know what TV shows or movies, excuse me, or topics or anything that you guys want me to cover next, because I think I'm going to keep doing this, because I keep watching really, really good shows that make me think, and I think it will be fun to kind of see what you guys would do.
So, with that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I didn't even eat this. I didn't even eat this. I'm about to eat this. But, I, like I told you guys, I got so excited. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>